Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this week's vlog because we are going to Boston. I'm truly so excited for this trip. Neither me or Devin have ever been to Boston before, so this is a very fun adventure for the both of us. I've been hyping up this trip for the past two vlogs, so I'm so excited it is finally here. So I'm just getting ready a little bit. I've already done my makeup, but I'm going to do my lip combo for the vid. I'm actually using a new lip liner from Say Beauty. Beauty. This is in the shade Twist. This is the gloss I'm pairing with it. It's in the shade Remix. I think this is one of their new shades that they released. I don't know, it's the perfect light berry shade of color. And that's exactly what I love on my lips. Just like a flush of color, nothing too, too harsh, but perfect for fall. I'm actually going to add a little bit more blush. This is Kosas. It's in the shade Swoon. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush kind of give myself a little bit more color here. I'm the type of person who loves such minimal makeup, but then when I take photos or video, it doesn't show up on camera as well, so I find myself needing to put a little bit more than I'm used to or comfortable with. And then sometimes for me, I'll put on my blush and it doesn't match the other side. I think I have blush blindness in that sense. Not that I've used too much, but that it's like, not exactly symmetrical on both of my cheeks. I don't know why that happens to me. So I just have to make sure that it looks the same on both sides. Um, cool, I got myself ready. The agenda for today is all things packing. We have to pack, we're leaving tomorrow. Our flight is early, like 8.30. Here's what I was thinking for packing. So I like to start with my makeup and my toiletries and then I move on to clothing, accessories, all of that good stuff. All right, let's go through my packing list right now and we'll start with makeup i feel like i'm gonna go with this refi primer star filter i like using the one by dior i actually have it right here this is so so good skin tint i usually go in with my concealer next so we're gonna bring this hourglass concealer i do really like kosas they just sent me a bunch of things so i'm trying out their brow gel and their brow pencils foundation brush concealer brush I'm gonna bring the Sun Melt from Say Beauty, really love this. Bronzer brush. This is Rare Beauty, Shade Encourage, and I think it pairs so well with this Kosas blush in the shade Swoon. These are from Rare Beauty, we're gonna take those. The Etherall Eyes Eye Makeup by Mario, Liquid Liner from Rare Beauty. My mascara I'm very particular with. I think I'm gonna bring this Say Beauty one. I really like it because it's not flaky at all, like zero flakes. Eyelash curler? We're definitely taking this lip combo. I really like the Huda Beauty. I have it in banana bread. So going to bring this cloud set from Kosas. We need a setting spray and I actually have a mini of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I think we have all the makeup that we need. For skincare and toiletries, this is everything that I'm bringing. First is Cleansing Balm. This one is by Pharmacy. I really, really like this one. I like bringing a cleansing balm whenever I travel because it's so easy to take off your makeup with. Cleanser is Youth to the People. I have this travel size. Same Youth to the People. This is their Air With Moisturizer. Really love their Smooth and Glow Serum. This is great skin prep for makeup. This and Kiehl's UV Serum Sunscreen. Chef's Kiss, I think it's really good. So I start with this serum, I use the sunscreen, and then I use this moisturizer. And my skin is so hydrated and so smooth that it is great for putting on makeup right after. Toiletries, I have my toothbrush, toothpaste. I have a mini deodorant travel size. For shampoo and conditioner, I have the medium shampoo and conditioner from Way. I also have their leave-in conditioner and hair mask in cutesy travel sizes as well. I have this travel size dry shampoo from Vegamore that we're going to bring with us. I think the only thing I was missing was body wash, which I put in this little container. River of Fume, I have this mini cutesy little Gucci bottle. Pretty much everything toiletry-wise, now we need to focus on clothes, what I'm going to be wearing, and I feel like that's where I'm going to spend the most time because I haven't had my outfits planned out at all. I didn't buy anything really new for this trip. I'm just going to have to go through my closet and see what I had from last year, try to make some new outfits with it, something that would be really cute 
it's in fall vibes. It's gonna be cold, but not too cold. So I just wanna make sure I'm prepared in that department, you know? Okay, so we got our luggages. I forgot to film me packing because it was kind of boring, but we're all set to go. We made it to the airport through airport security. It all went very smoothly. We have an hour until we board our flight. So we're grabbing breakfast because it's a long flight. It's nonstop, I think five hours. So we should probably eat something because I don't think there's free food on the plane. I think you have to pay for it. Best to eat something now. And then when we get to Boston, we'll have dinner by then. Thank you. Any breakfast? Uh, yes, I'll do the Malibu morning. Uh, bacon or sausage? Uh, sausage. Oh, actually, bacon. Bacon? Yep. I'll do, I'll do the same thing. Bacon. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I would love a latte, but the lines are always so long. I, are you excited for our trip? Yes, very excited. I'll probably get some cold weather, good food, coffee, pastries. We're going to Salem too, so maybe a little spooky time. This is our breakfast. This is $18. $18. Crazy. I can make this at home. Okay, so we made it to Boston. We're at baggage claim right now, trying to look for my luggage. And then we're gonna catch an Uber. It's not that expensive, so we're just gonna Uber to the hotel. Get all settled and hopefully find something to eat because I'm starving. spread I got some Greek yogurt granola and some fruit got a side of pancakes and then Deb got some steak and eggs which is absolutely delicious <laughs> It's a cafe and bookstore here in Beacon Hill. So, so cute, so adorable. We already ate breakfast, so we actually don't need to get another breakfast, but we're definitely getting coffee. We're so tired. Because it's also a bookstore, we're trying to see when they open. The bookstore is also open when the cafe is open. Um, Woke up this morning and it was super super cold outside and in our hotel room. It's really pretty hot. And then we started walking. It got warm, but I think so now we got this What do you get? trying to get before our trip to Boston so I could read it on the flight. It's Sally Lee in the mezzo. It was sold out back in LA. I'm so excited. coffee this is from Tate super popular here walked around the neighborhood in Beacon Hill we went to Acorn Street which is like super super picturesque very cute and now we're at the park here look at this look at this park it's so cute you can see all the leaves on the ground we're getting the sandwiches for lunch. There's gonna be a parade through downtown later this evening, so in the meantime, we're gonna get some coffee to perk us up a little bit. We're back in our hotel room. We're actually filling out the breakfast menu for tomorrow. We leave it outside of our door, and then they show up in the morning with our breakfast. Just to recap the day, it was so much fun. I tried to vlog as much as I could, but also be in the moment, you know? So it's kind of, I'm really bad at 
vlogging when I'm traveling, so I'm trying to get better at it. So we'll see how tomorrow and the rest of the trip goes. But today was really successful. Salem was really cute. It's such a quaint little town. You do not need a full day in Salem. We went half a day, like we got there around, I want to say around 2 and we left at like 7 30 which i think was a long time but we ended up staying for the parade which ended up being like <laughs> like a regular town parade like some people who are walking the parade weren't dressed up i think i expect like parades to be disneyland. disneyland level parades and it wasn't so it was kind of like there were some things in there that was just random we're so exhausted we walked everywhere today we explored beacon hill which was so so pretty like so many cobblestones we had a really good dinner at the hotel i didn't really vlog it because it felt very fancy in there and i felt embarrassed pulling out my camera but i got like a lobster bisque soup and a side caesar salad which was really really yummy we're gonna now watch Agatha. There's a new episode of Agatha that we're watching with going to Salem today and it being Halloween and Agatha is all about witches. Like it's all very on theme of what we're doing in the season and the holiday and stuff like that. So that's really funny. Something we also need to do is figure out what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Definitely want to get lobster rolls tomorrow for lunch. So that's going to be on the agenda. And then we have dinner reservations. Honestly, I love planning trips around food. We're such foodies that as long as we have our meals figured out, everything else will literally just fall into place. So I'm going to get some rest and I will see you tomorrow. I will go to toast and eggs. And then you get a bagel with papas. so we're gonna have to redo it we ended up going to this museum that's like right across the street from the hotel so tiny it was like two rooms and the paintings were all right they weren't anything crazy they were also like kind of new like not really old paintings i think we're just like not museum people either so i don't know why we like to pretend sometimes and go like oh maybe we can try to be museum people and then we go and we're like yeah this isn't for us i got it again coffee for the morning. We're getting lunch at Salty Girl. They actually have a location in LA. Flame chowder and a lager. in 
LA, home sweet home. That was such a fun, quick trip to Boston. I think three full days in Boston was the perfect amount to see what we wanted to see and really explore the city. We walked a ton, so I definitely recommend bringing walking shoes. I brought two pairs of really impractical shoes that I didn't end up wearing because I realized how dumb that was. Just a reminder, if you're going to a city where you're exploring a lot, definitely bring comfy shoes. I have all of my stuff here to unpack. The travel day was so long. Coming back to LA, the flight was even longer, I guess, because you're going against the wind, which I guess makes so much sense. We ended up taking a nap on the plane, so that ended up helping with the tiredness, but as soon as we got off the plane in our Uber, back to our apartment, we were just so exhausted like today's monday this is when i'm filming this we got back yesterday afternoon i was beat i could not even look at my suitcase i could not even pick up my vlogging camera i was just like i just need to rest so that's why i'm making this video right now and the vlog's gonna be a tiny bit late again i'm trying to get better at this but i do hope you enjoyed what i did capture in boston in my little vlog next step is to unpack my suitcase put everything away do a load of laundry i'll spare you those details and i'll save it for the next vlog i really need to do a reset after traveling so i think that'll be fun i want to try to meal prep for the week so i need to make my grocery list and shop and all that good stuff so definitely lots of exciting things for next week vlog but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys watching this vlog and i'll see you on my next one Bye.